So the main part that I was going to do today is how to subtly make your lips look a bit fuller. Because over the years, um, your lips do seem, it's all to do with losing collagen and elastin and all that lovely stuff that we wish we'd got all the time. But um, yeah, I've always had quite full lips anyway. That's like part of my heritage. <laughs> Thank goodness. It wasn't such a good look in the 80s. <laughs> Everybody wanted really skinny thin lips then. Um, but so I was probably underlining my lips at that point, but now it's like, oh, thank God. But however, you can, at the moment, you can never go too full. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do it, try and do it this way. I've just got, um, I've got quite a dark liner compared to what I'd normally use for the, for the colour that I'm going for, but it's just to illustrate a purpose really. Hi Sarah, hi, I've got on seen you for ages. Hi Marie, are you all loved up? Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I'm surprised you've got time to watch, dear. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna overline the whole of my outer line here, because that looks so obvious and so naff. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do two little dots above my cupid's bow on the highest place where they reach it. Okay, so that's just over the top of my lip line. And that's the only place where I'm gonna overline, okay? I'm gonna draw a line between the two. And now I'm going to follow my natural lip line. Gosh, it's dark in here. And because I've got, um, my top lip is actually bigger than my bottom lip. Weird, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm, I'm just miserable all the time. <laughs> but as you can see, it kind of goes right down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little, little uppy bit at the end. So I don't look permanently miserable. I hope this is looking okay. I really need to get some better lighting. It's been a bit wonky there. Yeah. Wonky donkey. I'm not perfect. <laughs> and I'm going to take the same on the lip line and just take it out a little bit. Just to upturn it. Okay. Just check that. Okay. Right now, the bottom, I'm just going to follow my lip line as it is. I do apologise. The state of my lips at the moment are awful. They're absolutely chapped to bits. And what I should have done first is done um, a salt rub or just get a toothbrush and um, brush your lips like you would your teeth and then put some Vaseline on just to get rid of all the... Yeah, all the dry bits, but oh gosh, if you catch those and you pull the, oh, horrible, 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 horrible. Now I'm going to take this, um, this matte lipstick. This is, uh, I think this is Slay All Day. Yeah, uh, Lottie, Lottie Loves on. I love Lottie Loves. They're so good and they're so reasonable, but they're like a really, you know, real high end quality. So I'm just going to fill it in. No, I'm not. I missed a step there, didn't I? <laughs> Right, I'm going to get a lip brush and I'm just going to pull a bit of this colour into the lip. The 
just so that you don't get that big false outline that looks like you've done it with a crayon. And also, you can just tidy up any bits. It still looks messy there. Never mind. I can always go around with a bit of concealer afterwards just to tidy it up. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this label dough, which is a matte. right up to the edge of your liner. That's not my tummy rumbling by the way, that's Vincent van Gogh moaning. And I'm just going to fill the bottom in. Do you mind? I'm just taking for a walk. <laughs> okay, now I really love that matte look um, and I've got quite a few new colours in it which are really nice for daytime. I'm just going to let it dry a tiny little bit and then let me just see if there's any questions popping up. Let me see who's there. Uh, oh Sarah, thank you. That's really nice. Hi Sue. Oh, Sue, yeah, this this is, oh, God, my nails are absolutely shocking at the moment. They are terrible. Um, but this is like my go-to kind of, where is it? My go-to nail varnish because this dries in seconds. And if I've got to do something quick, like I had to do this audition this morning and it, was a, it had to be quickly done, I just bang this on because it's, it's okay if you've got really short nails and it dries in an instant. And I've had it that long, I can't even read the label, I'm afraid. Something precious, Ugh, I don't know. I might have even got this from America, you know. I think it's probably from one of those um, JT Max kind of places where you, you just, or it might have even been from Walgreens or somewhere. I don't think it was really expensive, but it's just one of those that it just tidies everything up. But yeah, my nails are really, really shocking at the moment. About three weeks ago they were really really long for some reason and then I decided um, I hadn't practiced my guitar for ages so I cut all the ones off the one side and then the other ones broke and it, they've just been shocking ever since so yeah <laughs> but if I find any if I find another one like that I'll, I'll pop it on and let you know okay uh, da -da -da -da. hi Mona Yes, Sarah, thank you. I'm, I'm just doing this to stop myself going absolutely back shit crazy. <laughs> I hope it's entertaining and uh, and giving somebody some, some, you know, giving everybody a chance to try different things out and see if. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going in with my velvet matte metallic lip lacquer by MUA. And this is my fail safe. I love this product. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like a gold, but it's not it's not an in-your-face gold, so you can wear I wear it on my eyes and everywhere, you know. It's it's a nice subtle sheen um, that doesn't look too sort of Kylie. I, mm, I suppose you could get away with Kylie because she's in her fifties, but you know what I mean? It's not too shiny, you know, like the Love Island girls that wear all this really shiny makeup and everything. If if I wear it at my age, it's a bit mm, I don't know. So I'm just going to put that cut on that one. And the great thing about this stuff is because it isn't a gloss, but it looks like a gloss, it doesn't, mm, do it, sorry. it doesn't bleed. It's quite, even though it gives it a sheen, it's quite a, a matte sheen, if that makes sense. Because they're glosses, they tend to be a bit gloopy and then you get that feathering and it's like, ooh, 
it's the worst thing that can happen when you when you've got lip lines and things like that so there you go <laughs> i hope that's been of some use to you um if anybody's got any questions or any anybody's got any suggestions or um any makeup looks that they've tried and you want to post some photographs up to the page just uh, go for it if you if you really like it share it the more the merrier it's nice to uh, get tips off everybody and uh yeah i'll i'll put some more stuff up on the page later probably some more fashion stuff and um thank you for your company <laughs> on this little spur of the moment thing and i'll see you soon lots of love